So in this video, uh, I will be going over my lesson plan for April 6, 2020's assignment. In my lesson plan, the topic and unit is just elementary music one, environmental sounds. Uh, I just made up a random lesson number and it was instructed this be for grade level four. And this lesson's objective is just uh, how to notice and become aware of like, the music that's around us and how to listen more intently to the world. It also will help introduce students to the early stages of creatively expressing themselves through music uh, without the use of instruments. Uh, the homework for following this lesson is going to have students take a walk, uh, supervised by their parents and or guardians, or during their recess time to collect tests and listen to different pieces of the outside world making music and talk about their experience in class uh, in the next music class and I want them to collect at least three different uh, nature items that make three different sounds so I just have my basic lesson structure you know as the students are walking into class I'll have a lengthy not really a lengthy but just a video of me going through a walk through the park and just recording all the musical sounds that are just around and as the students walk in I also pass out a handout which better gives them like a simple version of what we're going to be talking about over class so they can write down their own notes and the teaching approach for this is going to have students uh, listen and unconsciously look for the sounds of nature after around 10 minutes of that, I'll ask students about the different sounds they heard in the video. This allows them to express what they second-handedly experienced from the park video. And they can look through that handout for like things that can help them better identify sounds. Uh, after 10 minutes of discussion, we will I will present the different nature items or, and found items from my walk and how each creates like its own music and how each natural sound can be seen as an instrument in an orchestra. You know, again, I'll just go into further details on that handout. That part will be about 20 minutes. It'll be a little lengthy because I'll bring in at least like 10 example items. Um, and then the last 10, 15 minutes of class will be going over the homework project. And I'll pass out the homework sheet and now further outline what I'm asking them to do. I'll ask them any questions they may have. And then I'll emphasize like the difference between like nature items and trash. And just a simple safety rules and like what to avoid so they're not out there, you know, picking up dookie and such items. Uh, this is gonna have the students go outside and get their own first hand experience of intently listening to their environmental sounds. You know, the orchestra of nature that they've heard but never listened to prior. This will allow the students to express their findings and creatively use these items to make their own music without really the need for like musical instruments. This seems a little advanced to me, to me, uh, for a fourth grade class, but I can see the students really taking off with it and just running and making some pretty cool observations. Um, that's really all I have in my lesson plan. It's very short, simple, and sweet. Um, while I have the video here, I'm just going to go over how uh, I'm looking, or instead of me performing my composition, uh, because it, it has required multiple instruments, some being played at the same time, and God gifted me with only two hands. I just made like a kind of like a, a audio recording. I just plugged in all the instruments where they need to be. Um, in the email, you'll see like my my music notation, and you can follow that. Because when I thought of this pro, uh, project, I thought you know I would want to get the students involved, have them have different students with different items like sections and just play along with me and see how that goes. Uh, the two sounds I couldn't really uh, take with me and bring back with me would be the transformer humming 
and the sound of a flagpole. For those, I just had to like recreate the sounds in this like knockoff garage band I have for Windows, and I think it turned out pretty well. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and shoot me an email. Thank you so much.